Okay, so I want to do an example for thermodynamics where we use the steam tables to determine the enthalpies at the inlet state and exit state. So this is going to be important, knowing how to use the steam tables. This will help us use the first law of thermodynamics and other questions involving thermodynamics. So for this, we want to consider a steady state and the steady flow of steam through a turbine used for electricity generation. You may assume the process is adiabatic and the steam inlet and exit conditions are shown in the figure below. The enthalpies at the inlet and exit are most nearly what? So what are the, in, the enthalpies at the inlet and exit? So we're given answer choices. So note here, the I is for inlet, the E is denoted for exit. So what we want to find, let's write that down are the enthalpy at the inlet, I'll call it H, H is for enthalpy, right, lowercase h, H sub I is for inlet, the enthalpy at the inlet, then H sub E, the enthalpy at the exit. So what do we do here? We can determine this, these values using the steam tables. So I can de easily determine first the enthalpy at the inlet using the pressure and temperature that's given. So we're given that pressure and temperature. Using these pressures and temperatures, we can find the enthalpy at the inlet. And also, for the exit, it's going to be more involved because we are not given a temperature. And we are given a quality. Note here that the X is denoted for quality at the exit. The quality at the exit is 0.92. So let's first start with determining the enthalpy at the inlet. And the way we do this, we can refer to the superheated tables. And this is easily arrived at in this case because it's 1 megapascal and a temperature of 350. So you could do control F. I'm in the thermodynamics section. And we are trying to use the superheated water tables so in this case we're in the superheated stage because we're at a temperature of 350 degrees celsius and we're at one megapascal so 350 degrees celsius and one megapascal so the pressure is one megapascal note here this is the temperature that we start at this is the saturated temperature and after this is when we start increasing in temperature. This is 200, 300, 200, 250, 300, 350. So we're at 350, right? 350 degrees Celsius. So you're going to go across here. And we're going to extract for the enthalpy. The enthalpy is going to be this column, right? So the H. So 350 is this, you go across and we get a value here for the enthalpy. So this would be our answer for the inlet. So it's 3,157.7 and the units are what? Kilojoules per kilogram. So let's write that down for the inlet. So from the so I'll denote from the super heated tables, we have our HI value to be around 3,001.7 kilojoules per kilogram. So this one is obviously the answer C. So I didn't write these answer choices with that thought in mind. So if this was on the FE, you can just pick C and you're done. But I want to solve for the enthalpy at the exit specifically here. So let's find the enthalpy at the exit. This will be more involved. And we know we have an exit pressure, right? The exit pressure is 0 0.01 megapascal. So what this tells us is if we go back to our tables... We're at the, a pressure of 0 0.01 megapascal. So this is right at the saturated temperature. The, a saturated temperature of 45.81 degrees Celsius. 
So this is the temperature before we start getting into the superheated stage. So this is our saturated temperature of 45.81. So we know we're at the saturated temperature knowing we have this pressure. So since we're at the saturated temperature, we're going to have to go back in the steam tables. So, so now we're in steam. So we're still in steam since we're saturated. So we have a saturated temperature of 45.81. So it's going to be around 45 and 50. So we're going to have to do some interpolation. But before we do that, I want to denote that the way we, we have to solve this enthalpy at the exit is by using a specific equation in the handbook. So we have to use this expression. So there's one for internal energy, there's one for enthalpy, and there's one for the entropy. So we know that the enthalpy at the exit, H, is going to depend on our H sub F. H sub F is for the liquid, the enthalpy for the liquid, times our quality. We know the quality value, our X value at the exit. I'm sorry, plus our quality, times our enthalpy difference of the liquid and the gas. So we have to find the enthalpy for the liquid and the gas. This H sub Fg is the difference between the enthalpy of the liquid and the gas. X is the quality at the exit and H sub F is going to be our enthalpy of the liquid at this temperature of 45.81 at the exit, right? So let's write that down in our Let's write that equation down. So the enthalpy at the exit is going to be the enthalpy of the liquid at the exit plus our quality at the exit times our H sub Fg, which is the difference. So I'll write this as the difference of Hg minus Hf. The enthalpy of the gas minus the enthalpy of the liquid. So it's going to be, so we should get a positive value for that. And so H sub F, we have to get that from the table. And here it's a little bit more involved than what you would, I predict what you will get on the FE, because we're going to have to do some interpolation. So if I go down, you have to, yeah. So 45 and 50. Again, we're at the exit. If I go back, we're at a pressure of 0 0.01 megapascal. So we're, we know at this pressure from the, from these superheated water tables is this. So this is at the saturated temperature. So we're at saturated temperature. So we have to go back in to our tables here and denote, find that temperature. It's between these. So what we can do is interpolation. So between 45 and 50, and we're going to look at the enthalpy column here, the H sub F and H sub G, right? So if I write that in the solution here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have two columns. Again, I'm trying to find my H sub F and H sub G. So for the first column, I'll call X. And for the second column, I'll call Y. And X is going to be for temperature. And Y, I'm going to use for H sub F. So we're going to interpolate here. So we know the temperature that's given in the table is 45 degrees. And the temperature that we're trying to determine the enthalpy of the liquid for is the 45.8, right? 45.8 degrees and uh, this last temperature from the table is 50. So we're trying to determine the enthalpy of the liquid for 45.8. So I'll call this X1, I'll call this X, I'll call this X2. I'm doing interpolation here. And for the Y column, it's going to be the enthalpy of the liquid. So from the steam tables in the FE handbook 10.0, 
we have 188.45 I'll show you where that is so we know we're at 45 degrees you go to the table and here it is so it's for saturated liquid the enthalpy it's 188.45 and for 50 degrees is 209.33 it's this value for what the 50 degrees right this one 50 degrees so let's look at that and plug in those numbers so for 50 degrees it's going to be 209.33 and what we're trying to find is our unknown here and I'll call this my y value to simplify it so this is my y this is my y1 and this is my y2 so using interpolation we can use the following expression we take x minus x1 divided by my x2 minus x1 is going to equal to so all of this equals to y y minus y1 divided by my y2 minus my y1 and then if you rearrange this y is going to equal to y1 plus x minus x1 then we do this is multiplied by y2 minus y1 divided by our x2 minus x1 so now we can solve for y which is the enthalpy of the liquid at 45.8 degrees celsius so y is going to equal to y1 is what y1 is 188.45 188.45 plus my x value is gonna be the 45.8 degrees celsius my x1 value is 45 then my y2 is gonna be the 209.33 then my y1 is gonna be 188.45 45 and this is divided by my x2 which is the 50 my x1 is 45 close this out and you can solve for y y is going to equal to our enthalpy of the liquid at 45.8 degrees celsius and i got around 192 kilojoules per kilogram are we done no because we need also our hg so this is going to be the difference between the enthalpy of the gas or vapor minus the enthalpy of the liquid so we need the enthalpy of the gas so we have to do interpolation again using the same procedure so I'll let you try that on your own this video is running long so for that I believe you should get around if you do after interpolation after inter that's how you spell it the H G is gonna equal to H G at what it's gonna be at 45.8 degrees Celsius you should get I got around two two thousand five eighty two thousand five eighty kilojoules per kilogram so that's that now we have our HF we have our quality at the exit again we're given the quality 0 0.92 and we can just take the difference here and plug it in here we can find the enthalpy at the exit so let's do this final step the enthalpy at the exit is going to equal to our H sub F value which is 192 kilojoules per kilogram what we find from interpolation times our quality which is 0 0.92 times our enthalpy at the of the vapor which is of the gas it's this so it's 2580 kilojoules per kilogram minus our enthalpy of the liquid 192 kilojoules per kilogram and here our enthalpy at the exit is going to be around 2390 kilojoules per kilogram 
So this would be our answer. And let me lastly denote that this interpolation can be easily done using your TI-36X Pro. So some of you might have that calculator, some might not. You can easily plug in these values in table form and interpolate this value for Y, which is our H sub F value. But we found our enthalpy at the inlet, which is this. We found the enthalpy at the exit, which is this. And our correct answer should be... So you should have... 2390 I believe it's gonna be B so I rounded this up this is the actual value I got in the calculator so I rounded it in the answer here so it should be B and that's all hope that helps thank you